Sound design. Yeah. All right, so when I only have time for one measurement, this is the method I've been using. Um, I place microphones at vertical bottom, on axis, and vertical top. Make sure that there are, they are all sensitivity matched. If you don't know how to sensitivity match your microphones, see the previous video. Um, then I have four transfer function measurements set up in SMART. I've got my 7150, my yellow, and my green. And I don't have those labeled properly right now, but those would be on axis, vertical top, and vertical bottom. And then I have an average of all three of those. And the way you set that up in SMART is you create three transfer functions as you normally would, and then you click on New TF Average, select all the things you want averaged, and pick a color for it. Then I turn everything on. I just hit Play All, and oh, that got rid of everything. And then I go through and take a look at the live IR and make sure that everything is uh, grabbing on to the right peak so I can get good data. Uh, I also open up a target trace so I have something to compare them to. And this is what I got. So here's on axis, vertical bottom, and here's vertical top, and here's the average of all of those together. And then I look at my target trace on top of that. So I'll get rid of the live IR for now. So sometimes I match level between the zones and sometimes I don't. So if we go over here and take a look at the X32, uh, you can see I've got zones A, B, and C. I did the first two days of this event with all of these at zero because I thought that sounded better. This time I'm trying it level matched. So basically what I did was um, I opened up a measurement and I basically just adjusted these levels of B and C while I watched a live measurement here in the high frequencies. Yeah, so this is about what it looked like before. Okay, so I had a bit of deviation between all of them. Not too much, so much that I thought, okay, I have to change all these. But I just thought, this time around, I'll try level matching them. It just depends on how far off they are. If the levels are within 60 dB of each other, of all the microphones, then I won't worry about it. And I'll just move forward with uh, the EQ step, because this is sort of my, what I'm gonna do if I have very little amount of time. So I'll leave all of them open, but I'll focus on the average here. The first thing I'll do is I'll adjust my reference channel so that I can make sure uh, everything's kind of lining up around the center line, around my target trace. I'll take a look at the average trace and I'll just grab like the first two or three big EQ things. So first thing I need to do is adjust my sub level. So I brought that down to match the target trace. And then what else? Over here, you can see I put in uh, three filters and I don't have a pre-EQ, but they're at uh, around uh, 200, 400, and 600. So I needed a filter around here, 200, um, 400, at 600. And that's it. And then for me, this was good enough. Um, after that, I usually play a reference track, take the EQ in and out, see if it sounds okay, and then I move forward. And that is sort of my fast and dirty way of uh, tuning the system. Now, I only did one array and we have four of them in here. So then I would want to just take a quick walk around the room and make sure is just to my ears, does everything sound okay? Um, is, are all the arrays sort of matching? Let me know what questions you have about this. I'm wondering, do you do the same thing? Maybe you have a better way of doing it. Let me know. Sound design. Yeah.